Hi everybody, it's Suzanne here, and today we're going to make a scary pumpkin and an eyeball wreath. But before we do, I need you all to do me one favor and look right at me. Subscribe! Subscribe! I need you all to subscribe! Well, now that that's taken care of, let's get started. Okay, I know there's a lot of craziness right here on the table, but we're just going to concentrate on this Dollar Tree foam pumpkin for right now. What we're going to do is get an X-Acto knife, and we are going to carve our pumpkin. We're going to work on the pumpkin first to the wreath and then I'll show you how to do everything else that we're going to do. Okay? We are going to carve out a face on this guy. Okay? So you can make your face however you want. I have these goopy eyeballs. I think I'm probably going to use these. I got their like really jelly like on the outside and they're um, hard on the inside. And I got these at Dollar General for one dollar. And I think I'm going to put these in, I don't know if I'm going to do purple, I think I might do purple, in the pumpkin. But first we have to carve a face. So let's get started and carve a face. I'm just going to start carving out eyes and a nose and a mouth and we'll go from there. Now I'm going to want the eyes to be pretty deep because I want to have them look like they're sunken in and I'm going to paint probably the inside of them black. Okay, so just make out an eye socket. I'm not exactly sure how deep this foam goes, if it's hollow in the middle or if it's solid, but we'll find out in a second. Oh, it does have a hollow part. Okay. It is hollow on the inside if you go too deep. Good to know. I'm not really going to be too concerned that that little part there you can see on the inside. I'm going to glue the eyeball on top anyway. ones just for measurement how big I need to make the hole and I need to make the hole much larger Now 
This is not the easiest pumpkin to carve like this, so be very careful of your fingers, especially if you're using a sharp object like an X-Acto knife. Cut the hole for the eyeball and try to stuff it in a little bit. I'm going to work on the eyes and I'll be right back when I have the eyes all worked out. Okay, so what I did was I hollowed out the space for the eyes and then I just flattened out the foam around the outside of the eye. I'm going to probably do a little bit more down here and then I just made two teardrops for the nose. I might just pick a little bit more away from underneath the eyeball here. I want it to be flat around the eye to look sunken in. So I'm gonna make, a, I'm gonna chip away a little bit more foam but I'm not gonna chip away so much that you can see inside the pumpkin. And the nose, I just took off a little bit as well. I didn't, you can't see through there. There. This is just in here with a toothpick. So if this is annoying to you, just take it out. It'll have a little hole, but you can always hot glue it right back in and we'll see it. It's easier to hold the pumpkin like this. Then I just started to um, take the X-Acto knife and just start cutting out the mouth. This I'm gonna cut all the way through so you can see inside the pumpkin just like if you were carving a real pumpkin we'll see how this looks it's not what we like we'll just Carve a little bit more away. Just like that and then just keep going till you have the whole mouth carved out and I'll be back in a second with that done okay the mouth is carved out and now we're just gonna pop the eyeballs back out 
and here's our crazy looking pumpkin then what we're going to do is get some black paint and we're going to paint carefully so we don't break him the inside or you could use spray paint and make it easier um, the inside of the pumpkin here and then the whole outside we're going to paint black and then we're going to let it dry and then we can really start working on this guy okay now that we have our pumpkin painted completely black inside and out we're going to sit and let him dry and while we're waiting for him to dry I'll show you how I made these eyeball, uh, eyeball flowers sorry I can't talk um, okay what you do is you're going to want to buy a couple stems of flowers I wanted a dark color like these are kind of um, a dark deep red so that I thought would work well so what I did is I got some of the eyeball ping pong balls from the Dollar Tree they have green purple and red so I got a pack of each of those and I bought four pack, four stems of these uh, peonies the red peonies and what I did was I just took the flower and the green and I moved it up the wire and popped it off the top once you have it off the top you're going to want to find the middle of the flower just spread it open once you have the middle of the flower bend back all the leaves and then press on that little plastic part that holds all the petals together so that it it pops backwards so that way you can help see the middle then take your green and just pop this little green thing right out the end it just pulls right off real easy all right so then you're going to take your hot glue gun be very careful find the eyeball and uh, directly around the back of the eyeball you're going to put a dab of glue and then you're going to place it right in the middle of the flower and then you're going to push that plastic part back up and that'll make the petals come around the eyeball then you're going to put some hot glue around the stem here this little stem here of the flower a little bit of hot glue around there and then carefully fit the green back on the stem and pull it down on the sides don't touch the middle because that's burning hot glue and there's your eyeball flower so then I had bought if I can find them I have bought these little rubbery sticky glow-in-the-dark eyeballs and I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do or how I was gonna use them in the wreath but as I pulled all the flowers off of one of these stems I was left with just the wire and no flowers on top so I was thinking what can I do with that so I thought hey let me glue let me bend the ends up and let me just take one of these eyeballs and poke it through poke it through the front of the eyeball and then let it come back in a little bit and then get my glue gun and just glue around the top just glue around the top of the eyeball and then it can look like a little hand with eyeballs on it I just spread the wires out and bend, bent the end of the wire and we're gonna use that as a hand for our pumpkin a creepy little hand with eyeballs on okay 
so that way we don't waste our wire. And there are six of these wires on here. Uh, all I did was take the end one and I just pulled it all the way down and it came off and the others still stayed attached. But be careful when you did th do that because when I did it, I it scraped right on the front of me. So just be careful. Okay, so you want to do that. Make as many eyeball flowers and whatever color eyeballs you want. I did I did the the purple. I did the green and the red. I did all the colors and make your eyeball hands. We have to let this guy dry. And what you're going to need for the next step, where goes all my stuff? is some fake nails and I know we have tons of these laying around right girls just the clear ones you can also buy these at the dollar store if you don't have any laying around okay these are what we're going to use next but we're going to wait until Mr. Pumpkin is dry so once he's dry, I will show you the next step. Hi, everybody. I just want to catch you up to where I am. Um, okay, so you should have your hands, your eyeballs glued onto your hands. You should have two of those. Okay. You should have your pumpkin carved out with his face and uh, painted black inside and out. And your googly eyes stuck back in the hole. The googly eyes were from the Dollar General. The pumpkin was from Dollar Tree. The, the eyeballs that are on the fingers were from Dollar Tree. Okay, they had green, purple, and orange for the eyes. And I chose purple. You can choose whatever color you want. You should have your eyeball flowers made with whatever color eyeballs you want to put in. You need a wreath form, which is from Dollar Tree. And the creepy cloth, which was from Dollar Tree. You need to go out in your yard and find a bunch of sticks of various shapes, sizes, and with all different kinds of branches on them. Paint them black with spray paint. The cheapest spray paint that I found was at Dollar, why well not at the Dollar Store, I'm sorry, was at Home Depot, and that was for 99 cents. Okay, so once you have all of that, and all your sticks are painted black and dried, take your creepy cloth, cut it in half, and start um, wrapping it around your wreath. You're only going to need about half of it because if you use all of it, it's going to look too, too much. Um, you're going to take your dried sticks that have been painted black and you're going to start to glue them on your wreath and making sure that you leave a space at the bottom for this guy to set in. Okay. And that is where we're at right now. And we're going to start to work on this guy and add some more features to him.